Welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about biased and unbiased situations and how to identify them. So I have a simple definition for both up top here. So something is going to be biased when only a piece of the population is taken into account. So let's say you're in a room full of 100 people and you want to ask what their favorite animal is. Well, you can either ask the entire group or you can only ask the people wearing blue shoes. If you only ask the people wearing blue shoes, that's going to be biased because you're only asking one piece of the whole population. Something is going to be unbiased when everyone in the population is taken into account. So if you're in that room of 100 people, you ask all 100 people the same question. So I have a couple examples here. And like I said, today we're just going to be identifying if it is biased or unbiased. There are different kinds of biased and unbiased events and situations. So make sure you check my channel for an updated video on that and how to identify them. So let's look at the first example here. You take a survey of only the girls in your school. Assuming you don't go to an all girls school, let's say you go to a public school, there are also boys that go to that school. So this would be something that would be biased because you're only taking into account one part of your population. So if something is biased, you can also say that the information is not valid because it doesn't take everybody into account. So let's look at the next one. You ask anyone who walks by on your street a question. It doesn't matter who walks by, what they're wearing, how old they are, nothing matters. So this is going to be unbiased. And because you are surveying everybody, you would say this is a valid source of information. Let's look at number three. So people who were in a music store were surveyed, so far so good, if they shopped in the rock music section. Well, then they're not surveying the people who were shopping in the store. They only surveyed a small portion of the people in the store. So again, I would say this is biased. And this survey, whatever it is, would not be valid because it didn't take into the rest of the shoppers. What about the person in the classical music section or the person in the hip hop section? You need to include everybody for your information to be valid. And the last one I have at the bottom here. You ask all of the students in your class to fill out a form. You didn't put any restrictions on it. You said everybody could fill it out. So this would be unbiased. And I would say that this information would be valid. So if you haven't already seen it, there is a pattern. If most of the time, if something is biased, your information isn't going to be valid because it's not including everybody. And if your information is unbiased, your situation is, then your information will probably be valid because it includes everybody. Like I said, make sure you check back for another tutorial on different types of biased and unbiased situations. I hope that this video was helpful for you. Please like and subscribe to the channel for more and leave a comment below if you have any questions for me. Make sure you share this video with a friend who you think could benefit from this tutorial. Thanks for watching.